Alright, so the last coffee machine did break. Now, it wasn't because I made ramen with it, although I would have almost guessed that would have been the issue, but no, it's because it was a piece of crap and the button flew off, so I never did get to test and see if the coffee tastes like ramen. Anyways, that's in the past. We're on to bigger and better things, like this coffee machine that I got at Walmart. It was like 20 ish dollars, and it makes coffee, and that means we can make other things with it. There's a fly going around my room right now. I have tried to kill it. If you notice, I look a little bit sweatier. That's why. I'm not used to moving around moving around. But yeah, let's get into what we're gonna cook today on this episode of Bleh! Uh, broke low life eating habits. That's what it was. All right, let's see what goodies we've got today. Where's my bag? You probably already know since you clicked on this video because there's a title and stuff. We're gonna be making some Kraft macaroni and cheese. This was a request from one of my Chris Jamers and I was gonna actually do the instant easy mac or whatever that comes in the cup and I thought, no, that's too easy. We're gonna go old school, the old Kraft dinner. So just like last episode, this is pretty similar to the ramen. We're gonna put the uh, water back here. We're gonna put the noodles in here and the sauce mix up here. I am so excited, although a little embarrassed because people probably saw me purchase this, but hey, it's for a bigger cause. This is bigger than just me. Let's get into it. All right, so let's uh, get some water poured in the back of here. I don't, ooh, there's still some coffee in there. That's gross. Mm, Jesus Christ. Well, it still smells like coffee, so um, it's probably gonna taste like coffee. Um, when I did the ramen, it didn't taste like coffee, so Jesus, I keep stepping on glass. That bit probably wasn't that worth it in the beginning there. Fun fact, I was actually going to uh, light it on fire, but I kept messing up and it didn't work, so I figured better scrap that dangerous idea. Okay, now let's get the sauce mix in here. I'm not gonna use a coffee filter because there's, no matter what I do, this isn't going to be like, I'm not gonna be like, dang, this would've been better had I put a coffee filter in it. So let's get the uh, mix out. Hopefully I don't drop those noodles. Usually I put butter whenever I cook this in it, but. Now all that's left to, oh, a little bit of the dust got inside of there if you, you can't see it. But um, let's go to dump these noodles. All right, are you guys ready? Because I know I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm gonna switch the camera angle. That looks better. All right, let's go. There we go, now we've got some action. All right, so um, it looks like the noodles have not cooked. The little coffee cycle that it goes through, you know, brewing the coffee, um, it doesn't look like it produced anything. It looks like chicken broth and some uncooked noodles. So I'm gonna leave it on here for a while and uh, Maybe see if they cook, or we'll just eat some crunchy Kraft mac and cheese. I don't know. Uh, reminder, this is a coffee pot. Kraft did not intend for this to happen, but that's why we do it, because it's life. I can't move this chair. It's There's some cords, and uh, there is glass everywhere still. Like, it really is everywhere. It's... I... Some bits are just not as important as you think they are. All right, so, uh... It's been on there for a while. I am impatient, so we're gonna give it a try now. I didn't get a bowl like last time, just a spoon. Um, we're just gonna take it off there and... This is not a good idea. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, it's not as hot as I intended. Oh, the noodles have formed a bond with the, uh... You know, this is, this is normally supposed to be creamy, not like orange juice and noodle. That's what this is like. It's like orange... Well, um, there's some, what appear to be noodles. On the taste scale, I I don't think a dog would eat it, and that's saying a lot. I would not prefer to eat it, but if I had not eaten anything that day, I would maybe consider it. If it was one of those kind of like days where you've got no food in the house and you're like thinking I might just have to make toast for dinner. I would probably make the toast over this. Oh, that is, I found the sauce, the sauce. Oh my God. That's where the sauce went. So um, it's pretty much all the liquid got there, which 
it did what I would imagine. There's a little wet spot here from when I wet a towel down. I was gonna say, if you're gonna make any food in this, so far, mac and cheese, that's a no-no. Uh, ramen noodles, yes, can completely be done in this. Tested last episode, go check it out if you haven't. But uh, macaroni and cheese, nah, -uh, ain't cutting it. Now, the coffee maker did its job if this mac and cheese were coffee, there would definitely be some coffee in there. This was unfortunate, I wasted a dollar, and uh, now I have to pick up all of this broken glass. But hey, it was for the purpose of entertainment, which this video barely had any of it. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and leave a like rating, smash, pound, slap that like button, leave a comment telling me what you thought. If you have any other ideas for any kind of broke low-life eating habit videos I can do, whether it be in a coffee pot or any kind of normal means of cooking, let me know down in the comments. I love to hear the input. I don't talk to many people throughout the day, so when you comment, it's good. Sorry for this awful facial hair. I know you're probably, what facial hair? You know when like 16 year old boys are like, oh, I got some hair now. I'm 20 and I've got that, so when I don't shave, I look like I just got my driver's license, and I drive a Pontiac Sunfire. So if you did notice it, don't mind it, please. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time with a video soon. I better let you know now. Uh, me and my brother Reese, you've seen him in a few videos on my channel here before, we are going to be starting a podcast. The only setback is we just need a table. The table. Now, we just need a dinner table kind of thing. That's all I want, but we've got everything else settled. So uh, once we get that, we'll start doing a weekly podcast, plus whatever videos I put up. I want to be able to put up some kind of content, whether it be scripted or just hang out like that. So if you like podcasts, if you like me, okay, if you just like podcasts, then maybe check it out. I will update you on here. Go follow my Facebook page, my Twitter, Instagram. It's Chris the James everywhere. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.